Hey guys, and welcome to Premiere Basics, a weekly series where we teach you all the ins and outs of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, what do you guys think of my new shirt? See, the thing is, I'm colorblind, so I have no idea what the color of my shirt actually is. But the store manager told me he had a solution for that, which is this RGB controller. Now take a look. Woo! Bam! Cool, right? Wanna learn how to do this? Well then, let's go! Now this is actually super simple. Let's place our clip in the timeline and open the Lumetri color panel. If you can't find it, click on workspaces and then select Lumetri color. Now from the Lumetri panel, we'll go to HSL secondary tab. We click the pipette tool and select the color of your shirt or your eye or whatever object you're using. Then we're going to use the HSL controls to make a mask from this color. But before we do this, we're going to check the color gray checkbox. This will be way easier to make the selection. Now everything that is gray will be invisible and the colored parts will be visible. So it's kind of a mask, but not really. It's more like a selection that you're making. Okay, so let me quickly explain to you how the HSL selection works. The H stands for U. This is the color range that we want to select. The upper arrow is the selection that we're making, for instance, all of the blues or yellows, and the bottom arrow is the amount of feather. Next is S, which stands for saturation. Now I'm going for an entire selection here to get all the saturations of my desired color. And then finally, we have the L, which stands for luminosity or the lighting. Again, my selection here is going to be quite big because I want each part of my shirt. Now, of course, all of these properties depend on your shot. So play around with the selectors until your complete object is colored and all the rest is gray. Then we're going to refine the selection with a bit of blur. This will actually feather the selection and make it more smooth. And then we have the most fun part, the color correction itself. From here, we can change the color to whatever we want. Now, if you want to make some animations with this, you can either place cuts every time the color has to change. And this you can do in the timeline with either the eraser tool, add edit tool, or whatever tool you like. And then you can change each clip separately, or you can open the Lumetri color in the effect controls panel and animate it using keyframes. So we click the stopwatch icon and go a bit further in time and change our values. And that's it guys. Now don't forget to turn off the color gray checkbox. Otherwise you will keep seeing your selection, of course. Now let's check out our awesome result. Check out my magic trick. Ooh. <laughs> cool, right? Now, as I mentioned before, you can not only do this with the color of your shirt, you could also do this with the color of your eye or any other object you want. But make sure that you only select the color of that specific object, of course. Oh, and because I love you so much, I will quickly show you another technique that you can do with this effect. What if you want everything to be black and white except one color, like in the Sin City movies? Well, that's very simple. We just make the selection of the color we want, just like we did before, but then we invert the selection by clicking this invert mask tool next to our color gray checkbox. Now, once again, don't forget to turn off the checkbox once you're done. And if this is one of your first times playing around with the Lumetri color, I highly recommend checking our color grading Premiere Pro class on Skillshare. Now we cover everything, literally everything there is to know about color grading in Premiere Pro with the Lumetri color. And with the link below, it's completely free for the first two weeks. So definitely check it out, guys. I'll see you next week. And as always, stay creative.